Hey, what's up? It's Paul from Guitar World, and I am here at Martin Guitar Booth at the 2020 NAMM show with the brand new CEO from Martin Guitars, Thomas Ripson. Hi, Paul. Nice to meet you. Great to, to be here. You. Yes. Yeah, and thanks for visiting us. Yes. Wanted to say, first off, congratulations. Thank you. The new leader of Martin Thank Guitar. Thank you. Does it feel strange not to have the last name Martin now that you're running things? <laughs> no, it doesn't feel strange not to have the last name Martin. Um, you know, I, I think they were looking for somebody to come from the outside. Yep. For me, I, I'm just incredibly honored to be part of Martin. I've owned Martin's before I joined. Um, I've known the company for probably the last 30 years or so or more. And I, I love the company. Um, so from that perspective, uh, being able to join a special company like Martin was great. But I also spent my whole career helping companies navigate through an uncertain future. And, you know, I, I think that's the time we are in now. And I'm excited to also from that perspective to join Martin at a, at a point where you have 190 years of of history to look back to, but you also have uh, lots of changes around us. And so, you know, I look forward to, to work with the organization, with Chris and the board and, and my team to figure out where to go. Do you feel that it'll be, uh, there'll be many challenges in, in maintaining, you know, the, you know, the consistent growth and, and the heritage of this comp of, of Martin Guitar? I'm not concerned about that. Um, because number one, I, I actually think in the pandemic has, has maybe just amplified it. I, I do believe there's a lot of opportunity out there, right? Um, there are a lot of people who love to create and make music and get something out of it that frankly don't play yet. And some have just started to play. And, and so to me, there's the potential to tap into that much more than what we've done. Um, the challenge will be to understand what are those things, right? Because there are a lot of things you can do and, and we need to be clear on who we are as Martin, uh, what, what, what's our role in this space. But then I, I look forward to, to figure out some of these opportunities and, and do it with the team, right? So I'm, I'm frankly, I'm, I'm not concerned. I'm actually excited because um, I don't think we are opportunity constrained, which some other industries or companies um, are dealing with that situation because of the pandemic and other reasons. I don't think the music industry is dealing with that. The one thing I wanted to tell you that I was what I was really struck by in, in your in your in your biography a bit is uh, the fact that it was your commitment and you that you had taken a sabbatical to about all that instrument building and all that kind of stuff. Can you tell me about your experience a little bit about that? I found that fascinating. Yeah, well, um, my my wife always calls me a nerd, and I think that's that's for a reason. I'm I just from early on, I just had real interest in not just sounds, but the people that made these sounds, the the instruments that created the sounds, the companies, and so it you know it, it, I got deeper and deeper and and stuck with guitars as my favorite instrument, and uh, for many years I I really wanted to understand what's involved in the process of building a guitar. Because of my career, I just never found the time. But then I, I took the sabbatical, worked with a luthier one on one, and you know worked on one guitar, and I think that gave me a, an appreciation of what's involved. And then when I started at Martin, I, I spent the initial time in the factory, going from the department to through a department, and again, it, it just gives you a much better appreciation of what's involved, all the things that can go wrong but also all the things that, that our people do to make sure it's right. And so, yeah, I, you know, but I, I have a deep interest in, in it. Um, and it's not just surface. I, I want to understand what's involved yeah. for sure. Any, any particular Martin that you're really in, uh, that you really love or that inspires you? I'm asked that question a lot. I always uh, say the same answer. It's my Martin MC68. It was the first Martin I bought, so it's a quadruple O cutaway, uh, flamed maple, um, and it's been with me the longest. I have several Martins, but that one has been with me the longest. Uh, so it's it's just you know embedded in our family history, 
and that makes it a little bit more special than a lot of the other Martins. But you know, there, there are so many, and I do like the fact that uh, as employees, we actually can can buy guitars regularly, and that's what I'm doing. It's funny. It's almost like it's almost like I'm talking to Rich Robinson. We're talking about his dad. You know, his dad's <laughs> Martin. Here you are at this show, launching basically an authentic uh, replica of that guitar. Well, I think the the Rich Robinson example is is a good one. That to me is something that brings out what's so special about us, right? What's special about us, I think, is that you have people like Rich Robinson and many many others that that have. A very deep connection to an instrument that that we created and once you have that deep connection I think you're looking to engage much more with a company that's called Martin right which gets into stories yeah. which gets into content a lot of things that we can do and that's what we're gonna do going forward yeah and that's what I that that leads me more to the fact that the one thing that's been great about Martin guitar is the fact that in the literally in the last Man, five years, maybe longer. You've really been done a great, great job at of, of, of being more of inviting a younger generation of players. Yes, and you've been done. A, it's been amazing to, to see that. Do you foresee any challenge, uh, maybe later down the road, in sort of maintaining that interest and and their and their engagement for that younger generation? I do think that's a challenge. Uh, it's a challenge for for everybody. Right, so it's not a Martin unique challenge, but I do think it's a challenge because, because I think our industry hasn't necessarily been educated to, to do, to basically change quickly enough to, to stay connected. Um, you know, and I do think, I mean, just the fact that young, the younger audiences, I mean, their main sources are TikTok and YouTube. It's just simply that. And, and, we either participate in that or we don't at our own peril, right? And so, so I think the, the, the challenge really is that I think as we go into the future, people will have more choices to spend their time on things. Um, they will also have more options to connect and engage and do things. And um, our challenge will be to pick the right, right vehicles and, and ways to connect. Um, so that ultimately, right, we create loyalty and, and, and the love that we know is there, but we want to do more of it. You guys introduced the SE13E, which was yes. a radical departure, departure from your more traditional acoustics. Yep. And it, it seems to have become such a hit with that younger generation. Uh, any plans to continue creating more of like these kind of cutting edge acoustics in the future? Do you see more of that? Yes. Well, we, we picked up the... SC always as a platform. Um, the SC13E, I think that was the, the the test product, so to speak. But um, I mean, it it has been the best-selling acoustic electric last year. Uh, so so we know it works. And so this year we launched the SC10 uh, example. So we're going to build out that that platform more, for sure. But then I also think the just going through the experience of the whole development of the SC13, it it also really energized our team internally, yep. right? Because we, everybody was involved across the board, uh, everybody got excited, and then we we see the response. So absolutely, I think it, it was the trigger to do a lot more like that. Any thoughts on what do you see? Where do you see the uh, the acoustic guitar in Martin, like in ten years from now? Where where, where do you, what what does the future hold? I think more of uh, what what you get a flavor of when you go through the booth here, right? So custom shop, frankly, there's so much more we can do with a custom shop and we, we love that. The modern deluxe, right? So thinking back about the heritage, but then doing something kind of that, that uh, evolves those instruments, but then also going back and our authentics. So, so if you think about the spectrum and then SC or Streetmaster, I mean, here the Streetmaster, so, so it's going to be a combination of tapping into our history, doing some new stuff on instruments, but also thinking more about the experience part that I mentioned and, and thinking about more and more varied ways for us to connect and engage. Well, thank you so much, 
Thomas, I really appreciate your time here. And, Thank you. And as Thanks, always, Paul. you know, it's, you know, Martin is just, it's wonderful. There's something here for everyone. Like whether you're a collector or whether you like the traditional and the classic and, or some of the cutting edge, you guys have it all. So I just, Absolutely. it's always a joy to be here. So Absolutely. And the other thing I also just wanted to point out, I think our joint uh, partnership on the, on the competition, yes. the recent SC10 competition, that was awesome. Yeah. We're, we're also very excited about that and Gretchen, what, what an awesome player. What a player she is, but it was a pleasure to see some of these artists, to me, come together. Exactly. Across, uh, and the, you, across, across the Across the board, right? Yes. And just really come up with some innovative ways to, you know, to use, you know, your instrument. Totally. And uh, again, it just shows that it, it the widespread appeal of, of, of what Martin is capable of doing and, and reaching a younger generation right. of players. So. And another also great example of what I mean by experience, right? There are opportunities like that, which, frankly, they are all part of the journey. So thank you. Have a great damn show, and thanks again. You too. Absolutely. Enjoy the show.